Captain Rex is back. But how? So if you don't already know, then prepare yourself. Because Captain Rex is alive. And not only that, but he has deserted the Imperial Army and is now working with Wolf and another clone to fight against the Empire. And I know what you're thinking, but Joel, wait, aren't they supposed to be the bad guys if they already have the cellular chip in their brain that makes them follow Order 66? And first, I must say, you're good at asking questions. And yes, most of the clones of the Old Republic became mindless killing machines after Order 66, annihilating almost all of the Jedi. What makes Rex and his group different is that they were aware of the cellular chip implanted in their brains. If you remember back to the last episode of The Clone Wars that premiered on Netflix, Clone Trooper 5's freaks out after realizing the giant conspiracy that the Kaminoans have altered the brains of the clones to be able to have 100% loyalty and accept any order, even if that order forces them to kill the Jedi. The problem is the brain is complex and does not always work as expected, as can be seen with Trooper Tup. Tup had a mental breakdown because of the altering of his brain. Count Dooku and Lord Sidious decide that this technology leaves too much room for free will and is not reliable enough to be used further. This may even be partially out of fear that it could be used against them with the rise of the Galactic Empire. When Sidious comes to power, he orders the stop of further cloning and then begins relying on stormtroopers who are recruits pushed to the brink of fanaticism and undying devotion. So how did Rex circumvent this catastrophe? Well, he already knew the truth that his brain had been altered, and when Order 66 was given, he simply refused to follow it. As Dave Filoni puts it, if you watch the Season 6 episodes on Netflix, where Fives discovers the Order 66 chip, Fives tells Rex, I've always felt that the truth can break any spell. Indeed, the spell is broken, because Rex and the other clones desert the Imperial Army, and instead decide to try to find Rex's old friend, Ahsoka Tano. Jump to many years later, and Tano at this point has moved into the role of Fulcrum, a leader of the Rebel Alliance, who the three clones decide to join. This raises a lot of questions, many of which I will try to cover in the coming weeks as details become available. Let me know down in the comments what you think. Are you excited for the clones entry into Rebels, or do you wish that the trilogies would remain separate? Thank you so much for watching this video. If you would like to be notified as soon as my next upload occurs, then go ahead and subscribe. And please share this video with a Star Wars geek in your life. And as always, may the Force be with you.